That's right, folks. Spirits Wild Beer Review. Drinking and thinking with Jammer Fan and Shag Dogs here also. That's me. And I'm drinking, uh, while I'm thinking, some Yingling Black and Tan. And I uh, I always love thinking about Bush. I think about Bush all day, man. So oh, wow. it might be a good time to it's a good beer for thinking. All right. What are we talk about, Jammer Fan? What's our first topic? I believe Shag Dog, it's weapons or like weapon type equipment in movies. Oh yeah, like any handheld. I was thinking swords being yeah. did swords the other day, movies or cartoons. But, the but most it could be famous. a phaser like like what about Star Trek? They have their phaser. That's an iconic handheld weapon. Does that and, count? Yeah, and it's handheld, right? We could yeah. even say famous guns if you want to add that in there too. Be, I, I think you know I think it ha- I think uh, we should exclude guns, right? Exclude so a laser guns. gun or a plasma cannon or some kind of fantastical thing, sure. Yeah. Handheld weapons, imaginary entertainment, even mythology will throw in there too, because there's some, some oh, famous yeah. mythology. Like ones. Zeus, he's got that lightning bolt. That's a hell of a handheld weapon. Yeah. Fucking throwing right. light or flipping or throwing even lightning. Kind of like historical ones that supposedly were real but might be mythology also. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. Okay. Yeah. So uh right off the bat. I don't want to name the famous one yet, but Excalibur has to be the most famous sword in the world, right? That might yeah. even be real, for all we know, because supposedly there really was a King Arthur and a wizard or dude named Merlin, supposedly. Now, was it really an Excalibur? Probably not. I mean, there might have been a sword he named Excalibur, but I'm sure it didn't come from Lady in the Lake or anything. Yeah. Or, or stuck in well, the stone. Lady in the Lake's interesting because how did – how? Refresh me here, uh, Shag Dog. How did he get it from the lady? Did she like bubble up and then he like gave it? It was like a sword uh, in the stone thing. Did he well, have to somehow like pull well, it out? Yeah, he had got it from the stone where his father stuck it when he was in a fight and dying yeah. or whatever. And yeah. then when he got out, uh, eventually it broke at one point and he went to the lake, threw it in there. And I guess the lady of the lake magically put it back together. Her hand comes out, threw it back to and him. He, or whatever. Then he gets it, gets it from yeah. the hand. Yeah. So Lady of the Lake might have been a good uh, ironsmith or a blacksmith and put it right back together, most likely. It's the first, yeah. uh, that was the first female blacksmith, and she worked down by the lake, so they called her Lady of the Lake. <laughs> There's my theory. I know. Any other weapons? Shoot. So I'm going to, like, give you the Japanese version of what you just said. Now... You'll have to check my spelling on this, but I, I again, I said I was I was using no electronics. I'm just using the old cheese right. log up here. Same here, do it. Um, so it's called the Masmune. I think M A S U M E. It's like basically the Japanese katana version of the Excalibur. It's like a oh. famous Japanese katana. Now, who held it? So, not a hundred percent sure on that. I will tell you how I know about it, though. I played a lot of Final Fantasy games on Nintendo and Super Nintendo growing up. So this was like 89 through like 94-ish, right? And all the weapons in the game, you'd find like Thor's hammer or the Excalibur. And then one was the Mass Immune, which was like your ninja could equip that. That was like the ninja's best weapon, right? It was like a katana, like the best katana. And they would always, those early video games would always just steal shit from history because they're like, I don't have time to make all this shit up. Plus, it just made it sound more badass. And then that mass immune always, in every Final Fantasy game, I always saw it, you know? Um, Along with the Excalibur. Those were like the end of the game weapons that you could get. Right. It might have been even held. There's a famous samurai, Hanzo something, Hanzo. H a n z o or z y o or so I forget yeah. his name, but he's a but one of the most famous samurais. Might have been his katana, yeah. you know, that he used. Who knows? Yeah, that's like it's like the Japanese version of Alex Caliber. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay, you got You got to like. I, I like katanas because they're like slimmer and more crescent yeah. shaped. Like you, you, you can just like while King Arthur's trying to bowl, like, oh, thou yes. shall fight me. You're just it's like, like a shooting, battle shooting, sword, shooting, yeah. Just, like, Chopping off his legs and arms. And just Katana is definitely lighter, probably even a little sharper, maybe. Sharper, um, but it doesn't have like the head. Like if you're wearing armor and somebody comes at you with an Excalibur, it can just, even if it doesn't go through the armor, that heavy sword like a claymore Hitting is you. just going to yeah. come into you. It's still going to break your shoulder, your ribs. Um, right. You know, people, uh, so I, I was 
reading something online about people talking about the recent Buffalo, New York shooting, which is tragic, horrible. Oh, yeah. uh, the guy had body armor on the shooter and there was a security guard there that actually shot him in the chest. And the guy just kept going. And someone was like, shouldn't if he broken like a rib or a collarbone, but I guess if you have all that adrenaline, you'll still keep going. But even if you have armor, that impact is something that can still injure yeah. you. It's just not going to pierce into you. So if I you guess hit somebody, yeah. Yeah, with that yeah. Kevlar on, I guess it depends probably where you get hit too. There might be a yeah. certain spot where really it takes you down for it takes the wind out of you or whatever. But then another yeah. spot you might be able to walk on. Who knows? Yeah. Um, same with getting hit with the Excalibur. I don't care if you have some armor on that thing coming down on you. It's it could probably even chop through some of that. But and, even and that you know, was magical. So it might have a little and extra. It was magical. So we have yeah. the fantasy elements. It might just cleave people in half but even if it's magical it's going to be a slower weapon versus katana is right. all like wah, 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 you know but if you right. come with your katana and the excalibur hits your katana i think the excalibur is going to break that bitch and go right Probably. through that sword yeah you know yeah um, that's great all right and but another one is uh i'm trying to think of famous but thor's hammer the famous yeah. one it, with mythology and, of course, the movie. Right? I don't know how to spell yeah, it. It's I don't like know how to yeah. Yeah, pronounce it or spell it. I can't, but it's M J O L N E R is something crazy like that. Yeah. Right. But uh, but even what's really funny is in the movies, his hammer gets broken by his sister. Uh, and yeah. he gets a new one made, which is called Stormbreaker or whatever the hell it's yeah, called. Like it's more of the axe, right? It's like Yeah, like a hammer axe, axe type thing. And, yeah. Uh, and he, Captain America, of course, gets his. And he's like, here, you take this one. He keeps the big one. But uh, the big one, even though it's in the movie, is bigger. The smaller one is always going to be the more famous one. Yeah, so. What's funny is I'm always complaining about wokeness in the Marvel movies. And I'm like, why did they take away Thor's hammer? There's nothing more manly. Why did they have to give him some new woke hammer? I got all mad about it. I was like, oh. I just want to. <laughs> and and oh, then um, so they have a new woman Thor movie coming out called Thor, like Love, Love and, and Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. And then the the preview shows Natalie Portman holding her hand out and like the Molgenor comes to her hand and you can see it's oh. all cracked and broken like it's been fused together, but it's been broken. So like yeah. now it's like, you know, they're going extra woke. And I like women, I, I like strong women character, man. But like, why do they have to just keep like... It's not even her in the comics, though. It's a different woman who became Thor, though. It wasn't her character, yeah. right? I get that it's in the comics or whatever, but you know why they're doing it. You know, they're like, oh, we can make Lady Thor. It'll be like, Lady yeah. Thor, but Lady Thor. And I'm just like, I hope it's really good, man. If it's good, I don't care. If a movie's good, I don't care if yeah. every character's gay. Or I'm a little upset, though, because uh, I guess he gets dropped off by the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're not in the whole movie from what I'm gathering. Yeah. They drop him off or something. I was hoping for a movie with all of them together, because I like the the uh, between Thor and the little raccoon, I mean, it's just funny as hell. Like, hey, yeah, yes, yeah, little uh, whatever hell he calls them, you know, it's just a lot of funny. Uh, what do you call it? Banter between the two of them, yeah. So I'll introduce a new weapon, Star Lord's little laser gun thing that he's got. Star Lord has like all these little like laser gun things he can pull out, oh, yeah. and he was like, she's always yeah, yeah. like rapid firing those things you know like they never run out of ammo they shoot little green laser beam things he's like pulling it out like james bond and like you know choo -choo, choo -choo, choo -choo, yeah. choo -choo. i don't know what they're called you know? but yeah little laser um, guns um, or just maybe all his like different weapons that he can pull out you know he's got little yeah. he's got little grenades that stick to people like anti-gravity thingies like Ooh. you know he's got lots of gadgets right that's like star lord's powers that he's got yeah that's pretty good you know Continue with the Marvel. Uh, the dude that's in Guardian of the Galaxy, the blue guy with the mohawk, uh, he's got the the needle thing, and he whistles, and it flies through the air. And... Oh, the, the whistle and needle thing, dude. That's a powerful weapon, man. Because it's yeah. like having a dog that's a weapon that you can kind of like. Yeah. So that's not technically handheld, or but yeah. I think he has to have a. He has like a whistle. He's got something. It. it, oh, it could yeah, be. he's got something. He's got something. Yeah. Um. I'll switch it up and go video games, dude. Mega Man. So Mega Man from remember Mega Man Nintendo, like yeah. yeah. Um, I he has a little it, but... arm cannon, and every time you beat a boss, you gain the power that boss had because the bosses have a little arm. So like you start off with a cannon that just shoots little white balls, right? It's just a little. But then yeah. you kill the freeze boss, and now all of a sudden you have a little freeze cannon that you can freeze. kill. So you got freeze like, balls. Freezes the enemies in place, and you can kind of like Mario jump over them or whatever. 
Um, or there's like a flame one. So all of a sudden now you have like a flamethrower. But the point is he's got this um this Part gun the, on his they all in the shape of balls. <laughs> I don't know. It's back in the the eight bit, sixteen bit days. We're talking like yeah. the first. So Mega Man Two was the most popular one. Everybody played Mega Man Two, man, and that was like in ninety one or ninety two. They got Mega so, Man Three yet? They're at like Mega Man like twenty seven now. That's right. pretty sad. The new Mega Man movie game up. Yeah, if I created that game or had a sequel, if you had whatever balls, fireballs, ice balls shooting out of the gun, I'd eventually have hairy balls shooting out that gun. Okay. I'd rather get hit by the fireballs or the uh, ice balls in the face, not the hairy balls. <laughs> Another one is, a uh, matter of fact, I don't even know where the sword comes from, is Voltron. you got the five lions. Oh, yeah. He's tigers, lions, that, like, whatever they are. They, they combine together. They make Voltron. But where the fuck's the sword? He does something with his hand, and the sword comes out. And he's got a sword all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. The sword magically appears somehow. I don't know. But that's a big sword. That's a big, broad sword there. That's super broad. Like, probably like well, 50 feet. Yeah. I'm probably being presumptuous here, but I think cartoon animators in the 80s were doing like a lot of drugs, man. Like probably, <laughs> yeah, probably. like a lot of coke, a lot of LSD. Yeah. And I think he's just like summoning it from wherever. Like he's right. just like, I have the power. It's just kind of like kids don't really care. They just like cool looking shit. So it's just, okay, yeah. it's magic. It's just, you know. Um, right. Yeah, There's speaking of uh, very... 80s cartoons, uh, that's another one. Uh, Jammer doesn't know a lot, a lot about 80s cartoons, but uh, Thun- I think he knew a little bit about this one. Thundar the Barbarian, he had almost mm-hmm. like a lightsaber. He called it uh, Sun Sword or something like that. It was like a okay. sword light. Yeah, that was a pretty cool one. That was in our top 10. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, huh, all right. I have a couple ideas. Um. Huh. I'm gonna go Dennis the Menace and his slingshot because he there was a couple Dennis the Menace wow. movies and Dennis the Menace has that slingshot and he's just right. like you know it's not a weapon to necessarily kill somebody with but he is like you know fuck Mr. Wilson that boomer motherfucker yeah. he's all like, <laughs> yeah you know. you can mess me up you hit somebody with a rock and a slingshot in the face or something yeah yeah and yeah. there's been a lot of um throughout movies there's you know. I think even that Stephen King one, Stand By Me, with the kids, they go and I think there's a scene where they have a slingshot or something. Like, there's yeah. always slingshots in, like, kids' Stranger, movies. It's, Stranger Thing. Uh, yeah, slingshot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of well, fact, exactly. he hits the, the Gorg dog or whatever the hell they call that monster. Yeah. He, he hits, you know, they're all attacking the thing, fighting the thing, and he hits it with a slingshot, like, yeah. once or twice. It's And then <laughs> even David and Goliath, he has one of those, like, hand slings where he, yeah. like, twirls it. So I right. think like a slingshot for like kids or like weak men, it's like a weapon of choice. A weak men. <laughs> How about for weak men, you'd probably rather have a gun or something. Okay, well, David, my name, you know, my name is close right. to David. I don't want to out myself online, but it could be something like that. Oh, that like type of weak man. And prehist or not prehistoric, but um, yeah. So so you know, we don't know if David in the Bible was weak or not, but we do know that there was a giant Goliath giant motherfucker. Yeah. He's like, I'm not gonna be able to like fist fight my way through right. this or sword I'm gonna fight hit this guy with a rock yeah you know? so he was like a, a blaster or a, a mage and all these uh multiplayer yeah games. like a, he the dragon kept his dis- he kept yeah. his distance you know he wasn't a tank or a scrapper or whatever up there close he kept his distance and got him he's a sniper yeah. basically yeah so i guess you could say like rocks were the first sniper rifles, right? You got a slingshot, yeah. you got a sling, you know? And that kid from Stranger Things even, like, sometimes just, boom, you hit somebody with a slingshot, you hit a little creature, like, it doesn't know, like, it's getting hit with a rock that's going really high, or a marble right. or something, you know? It's, I think, I think, like I said, I think it's a weapon of the infirm. Right, yeah. I, I My brother had a slingshot, I don't think he hit anybody with it, but, uh, these other kids, when I was a little kid, had a slingshot, and they were flinging that shit towards houses, breaking windows out. I'm like, oh, I'm out of here. Ran away. It's like, yeah. But I was right. thinking, man, that, that was a good slingshot. It was one-on-one where the thing comes around yeah. your arm. Yeah, and dude. Those... I was like, man, and when they flung that, it was like, Poof. I was like, man, you get hit by a rock out of that, you're getting jacked up. You're getting a contusion at least. Yeah. 
Um, I had one of those as a kid, and my brother and I would take these really cheap marbles that we had from this big marble bag, and we would just hit the street with them because when they hit, they were cheap enough glass, they would just explode and almost vaporize, and you uh, have to duck. There'd be, like, shrapnel just, like, like going oh, everywhere, man. man. Yeah, imagine one of those, those little shrapnel of marble, a marble going in your eye or something. That'd be horrible. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, um, we – we did a lot of dangerous stuff, you know, yeah. there was no cell phones when I was a kid. My mom would be like, it'd be like two o'clock in the afternoon. She'd be like, okay, boys, you go out and play and be back before sundown in the summer. That was like nine. So we had like seven hours to just, we would explore abandoned yeah. buildings and like light shit on fire. Like, oh uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah but you know what? Like shit. kids today though, that they have the helicopter parents, they call them like they can't do anything. Oh, you can't hold a butter knife. It's too sharp. And I'm like, I was like stabbing like toads in like the head with like gigantic daggers when I was well, like six. I wasn't <laughs> stabbing any animals. <laughs> no, but we did blow up some frogs. I, I love animals now. I protect animal rights. Yeah, I, I blew up some frogs. We we blew up frogs. I won't I won't lie. I, I probably hit a bird or two with my slingshot. And it might have lived, but yeah. it was probably animal cruelty. Um we would have M80s that we would throw into this river and we'd kill minnows it would like oh, blow yeah. up underwater and all these minnows would float up and That's you know good. when you're a kid, when you're a kid you just you know we'd light ants on fire we'd see an ant hill and we'd put lighter fluid all over it and throw a match on it and we'd be like sweet yeah, <laughs> um, yeah we did um, a frog once we got a rubber band my friend and he put it around the frog and put a like a firecracker in it and lit yeah. that up yeah that's horrible and now it's horrible. Like, I wouldn't do that to any animals. Kids are yeah. stupid. And that's actually why parents should watch their kids. But the whole point is that at the same time, I feel like I had a freer childhood. You know, I'm lucky yeah. I have all my fingers intact and stuff. But, right. You know, same you do here. some stupid stuff. You blow some stuff up. Hopefully, you know, there was this kid, Timmy, or something, because he was, like, dumb with fireworks. Like, you learn to respect fireworks. Like, and back then, yeah. there was more explosives. You know, you got yeah. – kids could have access to explosives. Yeah, I learned, especially when so, something happens to somebody else, it's better to learn your lesson that way. It doesn't happen to you and one of your yeah, friends. you're like, oh, shit, Timmy got his finger blown off, and then you're really scared. You're right. like, I'm not going to be a dumbass. All right. I had a friend, yeah. Nick, and I don't remember, uh, I don't know if they still even still sell them. They're called jumping jacks or something. You light them, and they spun and made yeah. a noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they probably don't sell them anymore, but those. Yeah. He put one of the shoestrings on in a sneaker, you know, and he like lit it up and it's like, and he goes, look, I'm the Statue of Liberty. I don't know why a light on his foot would make him the Statue of Liberty, but the shit burned through his tongue of his sneaker and burnt the shit off his foot. Like, oh, yeah, he man. had a big old round burn on his, his top of his foot. Yeah. Those things so, burn hot. Those jumping jacks are like flares yeah. almost. Yeah. They probably burn at a thousand degrees or something. Man. Probably why they got rid of them. I haven't seen them in years. So, yeah. No, they were probably huge fire hazards. Do you ever remember the – it was a spinning wheel that you would nail to a fence and it would just spin on the fence? i never seen one of them live, but I've seen them in movies and shit, especially with the Mexicans. The Mexicans used to like that. So my brother and I lit one, and we just threw it like a Frisbee into the neighborhood to see what it would do. And it just went everywhere, dude. It was like hitting people's houses. Oh, and like, like It was like – it, 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 it hit somebody's tree and then their tree started like lightly smoking and we had to get the hose out and it, it just barely reached far enough across the street that I, I we're sitting here spraying the neighbor's tree and there's people like trying to dry, drive down the neighborhood street and they're like going over the hose and we're just like, oh, we're not doing anything wrong. Um, yeah, that's fun. Hey, speaking of that jumping jacks thing, the thing that spun there was even when I was younger, so they probably got rid of this one too. It was something like a jumping jack, but it was bigger and it flew in uh -huh. the air. You'd light it and it would take off and spin it in the air, <laughs> making that same kind of noise like, and it'd yeah. burn out up oh, in man. the air. But imagine that hitting somebody, you know, it was, it was like, yeah. or hitting somebody's house. Like, yeah, so I guess it um, burned something and got lift basically from the spinning and. It probably yeah. had like fan type structures on the side, so it was like the because the uh, jumping jack was almost like a firecracker, but it had a hole in the side or something where yeah. it basically, I mean, the shape of a firecracker, and it basically made it spin, basically, and flares popping out both ends or whatever. I think that's what it was. Yeah. One flare went that way, one flare went this way, and it just made it spin. Yeah. So I think it's fair to say the slingshot slash fireworks is a. It's a whole category of weaponry for kids, right? That you can lump into like that's right. that's what rockets. kids have. Like, 
mutant trolls come and invade your neighborhood, right? You're just a kid. Right. You're like, oh, what do we do? You got a slingshot. You got some jumping jacks. You got to yeah. like use your head to kill these trolls. You know, you get a, uh, some bottle rockets with a pipe that's closed on one end. Yeah. You drop that down and there. Them in the eye, they're like, oh, they'll like catch on fire. Yeah. There's this that's old lady who used to ride down my friend's street on a three wheel bike peddling. And we, we were all like hiding, you know, like the banister of a porch or something. We we're hiding on an old school house, you know, we're hiding behind that. And she's riding down the street and my friend lit the bottle rocket, put it down the pipe, stood up, you know, like it's World War II or something, bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> lit, fired it at her and went in the, you know, the big tire, the three wheel bicycles, you know, they used to have back in those days, uh, got stuck in her tire and she's like, starts pedaling faster and it's like, and it blows up and she's like, ah, <laughs> We're all laughing. That was horrible. Huh? <laughs> that was an old lady, too. Probably in her like, 60s or something. L- oh. A Legolas from Lord oh. of the Rings. He's got the bow and arrow. Mm. I counter your Legolas, and I give you Crow from Hawk the Slayer, another elf. Oh. With a super fast. Yeah. It's an old movie from the early 80s, Hawk the Slayer. No, I know Kroll. And there's a famous weapon from that movie you didn't mention. It's Kroll's weird. It's got like weird, like it's got three kind of talons. And no, 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 no. Not that movie. The one I'm talking about, oh. the, the, the elf is called, his name is Crow, like C-R-O-W. He's an elf. Oh. The movie's called Hawk the Slayer. It's a guy who has oh. a sword with a hand and a crystal ball in hand. And he could okay. kind of like force will the sword to him. And Crow was his... Elf friend shot really fast. I don't I think like, I saw that one. Yeah, but do you know what I'm good. talking about? Crow with the I guy that, that has the thing? That's a badass yeah. weapon. It's it, right. it, it's like a boomerang. He throws it out. It fucks people up. It comes back. And right. like, My problem with that weapon is the way it's aerodynamic that you got to throw it because the blades are curved this way. It's it would come like, back and kill you, basically. So I'll hit you with another one. You said rapid fire Gandalf, his little staff that's got like right. twisted roots with a little ball. Got he it. can like smack it down. He smacks that thing down, and it's a smackdown. Speaking of that, uh, not not Frodo, but Bilbo Baggins. Why well, gives it to Frodo? Sting the sword. Yeah, the stinger. Yeah, yeah. It's just like boom, boom. You hit somebody in the heart with that. You do a little pinpoint. You, you pinpoint yeah. them. And you might have, another weapon you can consider it the ring itself. It turned invisible. Had a sword. Yeah. There you go. Double right, win. So I'm gonna go with the car- I'm gonna go with the cartoon. The Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He literally has cheese graters on his hands with like extra claws. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. I didn't think he's gonna, that. He's going to shred you up, dude. The Shredder. Yeah. I like that. It's a good weapon. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, now uh, re- a religious one. It might be real, might be not. Uh, the Spear of Destiny. That, ah, Spear of Destiny. That, that was Pierce. in one of the. Um, uh, the Exorcist movies was all about somebody trying to get that Spear of Destiny or something, yeah, right? Yeah, Pierce Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good one. I guess if you have that thing, you're like invincible, right? Yeah. Like, if you, if you have that and the Holy Grail together. It's like the, yeah, that's like end of the world. Like, yeah, like that's a pretty Jesus y weapon. Like, he's not a guy that has a lot of weapons, but the Spear of Destiny, I could see Jesus yeah. chucking and, that. Or the thing. Sword of Truth. Yeah, or the Sword of Truth. Yeah. Yeah, which is basically his tongue, but. Speaking of that, I'm going Darth Vader, red lightsaber, Star Wars. The red oh. lightsaber always seemed to cut more shit than the blue lightsaber. So right. I'm going. And even Darth Maul's double red lightsaber. Oh, yeah. That's just like taking the concept and he's got two. He's yeah. got two. The lightsaber's a formidable weapon. I think he would hit himself accidentally eventually spinning that shit around. And, yeah. Yeah. He cut himself in half. He wouldn't have to worry about Obi-Wan doing it. I'm going to go Jesse. We said no guns, like conventional guns, but I think it's a bit magical because it does. these guns aren't that easy to shoot. Jesse Ventura, Predator 1, the big Gatling gun he has, where he's like, oh, what are you, yeah. a bunch of slack-jawed faggots? And he's just like, Bruh. sorry, yeah. I probably shouldn't use that word. But like, I'm just quoting a movie, Internet. He's like, Bruh. and he just like mows down the whole jungle, dude. Yeah. And he's just like, Bruh. and it's like rounds are flying everywhere, you know? Right. That's a yeah, that's a good that's a good Gatling gun there. Yeah, that's like I, a, like I don't think you could hold something that big and that heavy. I mean, maybe Jesse yeah. Ventura, right? He's a wrestler. He went yeah. on to be a governor of like Minnesota or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't I know mean, what party. I don't think he was a Democrat. Or, I think he was a. He was, uh, I think he was an independent. independent uh, yeah, in independent. Minnesota, yeah. We like their independence up there. Yeah, I mean Montana. 
No, it was Minnesota. Oh, it was Minnesota? Okay. Yeah. But dude, that big Gatling gun he has, it's just taking down all the trees. It just levels everything. Imagine so, if Jesse I mean, was still the governor of Minnesota back in uh, 2020. I think things would have been a little different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think yeah. the cops would have been abandoned in their police station. <laughs> yeah, he would have gotten out there. Even if it was, you know, they shoot beanbags at people. Can yeah. you imagine a Gatling gun of beanbags? And you're just like mowing down the crowd with like a thousand beanbags a minute. Like it's just people right. like, oh, yeah. oh, it's like a beanbag saw, saw gun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A Gatling like a gun. Yeah. Is well done. Like it's non-lethal, but if you get hit yeah. with like 10 beanbags per person, yeah. like it's just going to take somebody down. Like if you can make it like be... If you can make it like that, you can just get little tiny beanbags like that big. Oh, yeah. And can you imagine? Out. Can you imagine a tiny beanbag hitting you in the balls at like 300 miles an hour? You take right. one or two of those in the wrong place, you're going to be down. All right. And imagine he has got a huge belt fed thing going into a box. He's got like 50,000 beanbag rounds. And just yeah. on the crowd, you could just, and it wouldn't kill anybody, but the whole crowd would just drop, dude. That'd be awesome. I like when he spit his chewing tobacco on uh, Apollo Creed's uh, boot. Yeah. Or whatever. He like, and Apollo Creed looks down, and I forgot what the hell was said, but yeah, they were about to throw down, but they're like, then, but then Arnold's like, we have a predator to fight. Quit fighting. Quit fighting, yeah. you guys. You gotta yeah. get to the chopper. And I'm like, here. Right. Come on. Kill me. You know, when he covers himself <laughs> with the mud. Yeah. Or he makes yeah. a trap. He's like, I'm here. Come on. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shag Dog, mm-hmm. Spinner Swallow Beer Review with Jammer Fan. And we'll see you on our next special edition of Drinking and Thinking.